Ram is more likely shy, but with time he will talk openly and without reserve. I always knew him as a very dedicated man, dedicated researcher, who did his did very good research in a very unspectacular way. He seems to be quite subdued and just in a very quiet way does marvelous things. I was a greenhorn in research and I couldn't solve all my problems in this study. I was very pleased that Ram came to me and offered his help. Ram transfers his knowledge and achievements to each person who is interested. I consider knowing Dr. Nair closely and having the opportunity to learn from him a great privilege in my career. As a teacher, he was, he was always very enthusiastic and he always, he learned us to think about the rules of nature and to respect the nature's law. He was very, always very uh, close to, to base, close to nature and trying to find a way in accordance with nature and not against it. I think that to me that's one of the main points in his research career. The methodology used by Dr. Nair in his research um, has been so meticulous and intricate that it is difficult to imagine going forward uh, that someone will replicate uh, that kind of work with similar rigor uh, on a large scale. I want to wish Ram all the best for his future and we hope to see him back in our dental study club where he was a very good member both as a colleague and compa companion and also contributing to our scientific discussions. I wish Ram a well retirement and I would tell him to continue with his actual activities of teaching. That's his life and his passion. I'm very happy to see Dr. Nair's life work being recognized in such grand manner by the biggest and best endodontic community in the world. So, Rom, I think that I'm very privileged to have you had as a teacher and to still have you as a very or highly compliant patient. And I really, I'm really happy to have you also as a friend for a part of my life. And I would just say you just keep on going on. I salute Dr. Ram Naya for his contribution to endodontics and wish him good health and happiness. Namaskaram, sir. I feel very honored to receive this award for which I thank the AAE and the award committee for selecting this work and me for receiving this award. And in this context, I must mention particularly Professor Dr. Joran Sanquist of the University of Umeå and his close associate, Dr. Ulf Sjogren, for providing all these cases for studying in Zurich. I wish to thank the Institute of Oral Biology and the Dental School in Zurich who were providing total support for conducting the study. And particularly, I wish to mention one that is Mrs. Margaret Amstad, Mrs. Susie Munzel, and third, Mrs. Gundil Krai. They were working entirely for this project, and without whose technical skill and ability, this would not have been so successful. In this context, I may also mention that I have been receiving great support from my family back home in India, and also Ruth and my Swiss family here, always supportive. And I thank all of you for helping me to complete this work and now able to be uh, receive this award here in uh, San Francisco. <laughs>